Hi YouTube, it's Leola from L's Corner and my YouTube channel is L Good Naps. Um, I do various videos, various tutorials. So this tutorial is going to be doing a semi another video on how to make your own mini ironing board. Some of us may not be able to afford an ironing board. We may be on our own. Um, we may be limited on cash. Our college folks, especially our little college ladies, the college men. Um, if you, if your room or your dorm is too small to have one of those big, large, um, ironing boards or just an ironing board like this, what I have here, um, you got to have some place to put it. And most times you may not have that room, especially if you are a dorm, living in a dorm, or, or you just got a small spot and you got a studio and you really don't have no area for no ironing board. So I was watching a few videos for how to make my own small, um, uh, ironing board. Uh, I do a lot of craft. I, I, I sew now. Um, I'm a beginner sewer, so I'm a newbie to sewing, newbie to some crafts. So some of the things I was watching, I'm like, darn, I'm tired of digging out this big old iron. Well, this is a mini, uh, like a, a miniature ironing board. It's a medium size, but I need something more conducive when I do my projects, where I'm not um, digging out this thing, have to break it down and do all this kind of stuff. I'm like, well, I got it's got to be something better. So then I was watching the video and saw like, oh, and by the way, if you want to see, if you want to learn how I did my uh, mini ironing board, watch this video. So that's what I did. Is uh, it was um, uh, Crafty Gemini. It's a video that I watched. And then I watched some other videos other than hers, but Crafty Gemini pretty much gave me the uh, idea of how to uh, move forward and make my own. Uh, DIY mini um, ironing board. She had like a puzzle, the wooden puzzle, and you believe I want? I went all over Cleveland. All, and I ain't gonna say I went all over Cleveland. I just went to a few stores uh, in my local stores near my address, trying to find this freaking um, uh, children's puzzle board, a puzzle book that has a puzzle that's made out of wood. I'm like, where is? I'm gonna find that. So I went. I couldn't find it. So what I did was, I'm like, you know what? I'm not about to sit up there and burn more gas trying to find this this wooden board just because I just need to make a um, a mini eye board. So what I'm what I did manage to see, I went to just a book, a uh, book, yeah, just a book, and I found this. These are clipboards, only a dollar. So I bought three of them. So I bought three of my clipboards, and so what I did was I glued these two together using E6000 glue, but I realized that, you know, when I went to pick it up, I wasn't very confident that it was going to stay together, so what I did is I bought a third one, and I actually leveled it out to go in the middle, I mean, to, you know, to be a support of these two of these two boards that I put side to side like I said this didn't feel like I had the right support for this so I'm like well let me buy me another one and then put it in the, uh, the, the support the, the two that's in the middle so once I did that I used the 6,000 glue glued that to get this it's made out of partial board it's solid um, so I was good with that so once it dried, it, is, it took a few hours, but I just let it set just to make sure that it's set and it was and secure. So I'm very confident in this little board. But again, I got this at Buckaroo, one dollar each, so three dollars I spent on this. Um, then I bought went to Joanne Fabrics and bought half a yard, and you don't even need a half a yard. I'll say maybe a quarter of a yard of um, fabric, or you can buy. Maybe a uh, you can do a pillowcase, cut up a, an old pillowcase. You can go to a Dollar Tree and buy a pillowcase, uh, and that can be your fabric. Cut it and turn it into uh, a fabric piece. You're gonna need some kind of batting or so some some type of padding to go on top of your board, like that. Uh, if you can't afford the batting, and it's cotton batting, not polyester batting. Cotton batting is what you need because you're going to you're using the iron, a hot iron. So you kind of don't want the padding to melt it underneath your um, 
your fabric that you're using as your cover. If you don't have the money to buy the um, um, batting, which was, this is kind of kind of expensive if you get the good kind. Um, so what I did, what you, if you don't have that, you can use towels, old towels, and even even if you don't have old towels, you can um, go to the Dollar Tree or any Dollar Cheap place and buy you some towels. And then you just, you know, this is this is a dish towel. So what I did, what I'm doing now is I am folding it. Or you can cut it however you want to do it. But when you fold it, you're getting a lot of padding. You're getting like a lot of a thick padding. If you ever had an ironing board or ever used an ironing board, you have, you know, that padding is kind of somewhat thick. So what I'm doing is I f I'm folding it. It's not big enough. I'm going to see if I can fold it. Go this way. Look like it works this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold that under. Fold that under just so I can even out. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take a second towel. And I'm going to go this way with it. And that is your your padding. That's going to go underneath your fabric. So your fabric, you're going to take your fabric. You're going to cover that up. Even it out. I don't know if you, yeah. Even it out. Like that. And then you're going to pull it. Pull your fabric. Make sure that it's... Um, Fold it under, or pull it under the thing, or you or turn it over like this. And then you're going to want to take your glue gun or some kind of glue. If you've got to use your 6000, 6000, E6000 glue, you just take it and glue up underneath or glue, um, put glue on, on this on the bottom of the thing. Lay it down, let it stick. Fold that over. Use the E6000 glue or uh, or even um, your hot glue and glue that down on each side until you get all sides secure. Once you get your all sides secure, you just turn it back over and you should have a nice ironing board. But I would recommend that you watch uh, Crafty Gemini. She's using a um, a staple gun, and I made I made another one. Ugh, sorry, guys. Should have had it hanging over on that side here. So I made another one. Doing with I did the towels. I didn't have the batting. I actually had towels that you just saw me do here. This is what I did for this one. But instead of using glue, I used a staple gun. And this was not one of these uh, clipboards. This was something I bought at Joint. This little thing was like, I don't know what it's called. Some little hanging thing, wooden thing. And it was on sale half off or 25% off. Or 40% off, I can't remember. But I did the same thing what I just did here. I, I put my towels, patted my towels, and then I just put my fabric over over this and just pulled it in to secure it to secure the padding in place and then I just um, staple gun that used the staple gun and staple gun this one this one I'm going to do as I said I didn't specifically because I don't have my hot gun my hot little glue gun ready yet but I am going to not use the tiles I'm actually going to use my padding but what I just what I just showed what I just went to the steps telling you to do that's what you just need to do you glue it underneath use your e6000 glue the stuff is amazing and then once you uh, are ready to secure the fabric or cover the uh, cover the padding with your fabric you're just gonna fold it over on each sides 
and um, glue it, secure it. That's all you need to do. Is you, all you want to do is secure that fabric that you're pulling over the padding. And then you have a self-made mini ironing board. And you can put it up under your bed. You can um, put it up under a table, slide, slide it, um, slide it up against the wall. And you, you already have a nice self-made ironing board, especially if you own limited funds, single, uh, a young teenager in a college dorm. So that's just an idea, a DIY. Um, thanks for watching. You have a good day.